Hey, welcome to the channel. This is a little different than what we normally cover on this channel, but I thought it would be helpful because I didn't see any video on how to change the binding settings on your Rosignol Axiom 100 bindings. I know these are a little bit older bindings. This video is not about whether or not you should be using older or newer bindings. Bindings older than 10 years, you're not going to get a ski shop to work on them typically. And so this is purely how to do it if you want to do it. All right, I'm going to show you how to set your toe binding, your heel binding, and set your DIN pressure settings to go along with your size of boot length. And you may need to position your toe piece um, specific to your, your boot length range here. And the tools that you're going to need are a uh, Phillips head number three. It's a little larger Phillips head. You're also going to need a Torx T25 bit and a common flathead screwdriver. You find the range in which your boot length is. And there's one, two, three, four Torx heads and one Phillips head. Just want to be careful not to strip these out get that started and then you need a t25 torx bit and like that you don't need to watch me take these off all right with all the screws removed this top part pops off as well as this entire track or rail system and underneath you see this bracket here that pops out and this is what sets the range you can snap it into each side and then line up your line up your screw holes once you set that in here then you can see what boot size range you're at so just like that Find out what boot size you are, and then take that apart, set your, just set this guy in the right spot. It might take a, a time or two, and like I, like I said, we're 328, so we want to be in the 310 to 329 range, and I'll connect that back up and we'll get to the next step all right so we got those fastened back on there so the toe piece is set in the spot that we need now we come back to the heel piece and the heel piece here every binding is different um, and I've seen a, a few other videos but no other video on the axiom 100 or similar to how this heel piece is set and what I found is that this little lever back here, if you stick a flathead screwdriver right here and uh, twist it sideways and lift up, you can just slide this really easy forward and backward based on your boot length to set the forward pressure properly. Now let me show you how to do that. Now if we set this back here, and snap that into place okay now we're locked in I'm gonna set the boot in here and show you where the forward pressure is okay it might look like it fits in there nice you just all right it snaps in there like that the way to check the forward pressure on these guys is this Is this little yellow window here you can see that black line that black vertical line you want to make sure that that black vertical line is in the middle or slightly forward and I would say it's slightly back it's slightly to the left of center and so properly set forward pressure on these um, 
they say is in the middle of the window or slightly forward. And so I think we need to adjust this one more. I'm gonna set this back a little bit further just for effect. It might look like these. That fits in there nice. But again, when you check that window, you can barely see that line on the very back side. There's, these are too loose, and so you want to make sure the, to reset this, and I'll show you what the proper position looks like on these. So, release the boot. Again, it's pretty simple. Slide that forward. Hit that set into position. Get your boot in there. In the proper position here, now you can see that line is slightly forward of center. Well, that's going to be the proper toe pressure on these bindings. Alright now, last thing. Your DIN setting. Your DIN setting is set on these, on both the heel and the toe. And so to set those, simple. You need a number three Phillips head. PH3 Phillips head number three. And your DIN setting is set by just twisting this. And you can see on the window here, if you want to set that DIN setting, you can see that line, that white line. This has a DIN setting range from 3 all the way up to 10. So you can go online and find your DIN setting, what your DIN setting should be based on the experience of the skier, age, height, boot, boot width. Um, there's a number of things that, that go into calculating your DIN setting. But you should find out what your DIN setting is. Do a Google search. You can find calculators. In our instance, our DIN setting is 5. So I'm going to set that white line right to the 5. And again, on the back side, we've already done that. Same deal on the back. There's just a Phillips head screwdriver. Hope that was helpful, guys. Um, again, I didn't see any videos online, so I thought I'd make one.